the, the little bit of action you're getting against live hitters right now, um, does it compare in your mind to what you would get from a, a real spring training game? I know beyond just the actual work level and the amount of pitches you're throwing, just is it um, the intensity of it? Is it is it comparable to what you get in the spring training game? Um, no, it's uh, it's another jump from what we've been doing. Um, even getting on the mound, uh, personally, I haven't been able to do that as much as um, some guys. And um, it was able to throw two two extended bullpens and then uh, three innings yesterday. So. Um, each each one of those uh, steps is is a, is a higher jump, higher intensity. But um, I feel pretty good today after throwing uh, over 40 pitches yesterday, so that's a positive. And just continue to to try to build up and ramp this up as as best we can. And um, obviously, things are are different for everybody, so um, we're just trying to make sure we're ready to go once um, the, the games that count start. Do you have any sense yet if you feel like there's a good chance you will be where you want to be um you know what something like 12 days from now whenever it is that you're facing the Yankees yeah I mean I feel pretty good um like I said I threw through three innings yesterday um I feel I mean pretty solid today to where I um will able to throw a bullpen again tomorrow and then um get on a, a schedule and, and build up to, to four innings and then five innings and then um hopefully be around six innings and try to get close to a hundred pitches is, is kind of where, where I'm at and um, feel pretty positive uh, that, that I'll be able to get there. Next up, Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Hey Patrick, thanks for doing this, ma'am. Uh, yeah. You guys are, this is the 10th day of workouts. It's obviously like something like you've never done before. Can you just maybe walk us through what it's been like, um, new protocols, like, just moving parts, kind of what, what, what's the first 10 days been like? Yeah. Um, yeah. I come to the field, obviously uh, testing every day. Um, it's, it's obviously different. Um, wearing a mask in the clubhouse all the time, um, trying to, uh, we're, we're cleaning up after ourselves, uh, being aware of what we're doing, what we're touching, what, what, we're, uh, things like that. Um, obviously it's, I mean, it's different for you guys not being able to come down and see us and talk to us. So, everybody's just trying to get through this the best way we can. And um, I think it, just at the end of the day, we want to go out there and play baseball. We want to play games that um, they can televise, that, that fans um, have an opportunity at home to, to watch us play. And um, we all miss that. And we're trying to do everything we can to make sure uh, we're safe and uh, that we're able to get back on the field. And I knew there was maybe some early hiccups, like you guys canceled earlier in the week. But do you feel like now it's kind of been smoothed out and you're able to just focus on – all the other stuff, baseball and safety and whatnot, does it kind of feel like it's settled in a bit? Yeah, I mean, I, it's it was a new process for for all of us, our, our training staff as well. Those guys, I mean, they've, they've put in a lot of work, and um, those guys are running around every day trying to um, make sure that, that everything's going smoothly. So um, I think now that we kind of got a routine, even not being able to eat at the field, we got to go pick up our food and, and, and take that with us. Um, so – there's some small changes that, that we haven't had to do before. So um, it will take a little bit of getting used to, but I think guys are um, kind of learning the schedule now. Um, I think once we're going to have to travel and go to different cities, obviously that's going to be something different as well. So trying to figure out how to do that. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Next up, Matt Weirich, NBC Sports Washington. Hey, Patrick. Thanks for doing this. Just one quick thing. Uh, with such a more short amount of time in between the start of training camp and opening day, do you anticipate there being some kind of lighter workload to start the season? Do you, you know, think there's going to be a greater reliance in the bullpen, at least when you get kind of get going? Um, maybe. I mean, I'd, I'd like to, to think I'm going to be ready to, to, to throw close to 100 pitches. Um, I, I feel that it's we, in spring, we were up to four innings, so I was very close to, to getting ready for the season. My next start would have been five and then ready to go. So um, I think this this time it's not going to take as long to, to get back up to that um, speed. So not, not throwing um, to live hitters and then going three innings yesterday, I feel pretty good uh, doing that. Cool. Thank you. Yep. Jessica Camarado, MLB.com. Hey, Patrick, obviously a big part of when you pitch, it's the conversations that you have with the catchers when they come to the mound. Um, have you 
experienced anything like that yet? And how do you think that's going to go? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we do a lot of, uh, we, we talk a lot before the game and, and have a game plan and things, things like that. Uh, Jan caught me pretty much every game last year and um, we have a pretty good idea of what we want to do out there. So uh, personally, I don't think it would be uh, too big of an issue for myself. I'm not sure. Can we? Can the catcher even come out and speak with us during games? I don't know. Like I don't know how that's gonna work, or if you guys have to hold up flashcards stand far away. From yeah, it. I'm not. I'm not quite sure on that. Um, I'm sure I'm gonna catch myself doing something out there. I know I. I I'm trying not to lick lick my uh, hand at all or, or spit, and I catch myself sometimes. So I mean, obviously these are things that you just kind of do without thinking. So. Um, trying to just obviously be better at that. But yeah, communication, I mean, keeping your distance, but I think just having a good game plan going in, um, hopefully speak. Um, I mean, we always talk about the hitters before games, so something that we're going to have to to do. And um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. Also, when you guys are on the road or even at home, it's going to be, a, you know, there's not going to be like going out to dinners and things after that. Have you thought about how you're going to pass the time when you're staying at home a lot more, like new activities, things like that? Yeah, uh, I mean, hopefully on the road we can watch it. I'm not even sure if I can be in the dugout uh, when I'm not pitching. So I, I think I have to just um, head home. So I, hopefully I can get all the games at least and try to be somewhat involved. But um I mean, it's it's obviously really strange not being able to go out there, be with your teammates, um, celebrate with them, give them high fives, things like that. But um, at the end of the day, if we're playing baseball, I think that's that's all that matters. Next up, Matthew Paris, Washington Times. Hey, Patrick, thanks for doing this. Stephen yeah. said the other day that you know maybe with the Cy Young that a reliever might be more eligible for it if he plays every day or pitches every day. I was just curious, how do you think? the end of the awards races will be affected by the condensed schedule and will should a guy who has maybe six wins and 10 appearances be eligible or how do you think everything in this short season mm -hmm. might be affected um yeah I guess I haven't thought about it too much but um I mean there are so many challenges this year for everybody um I mean there there's going to be a champion at the at the end of the season and uh, I personally think they've earned it um to to go through all the, these testings and everything that everyone's had to gone through and, and still go out there and um, play 60 games, make the postseason and, and, and play postseason baseball. So um, I don't know. I mean, they, I think some of these relievers are going to have more appearances than, than they, they would have for back-to-back uh, -back games, um, especially early on when these starters are, are building up more and more. So um, we'll see. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. It'll be exciting. I mean, do you think that the like batting averages will be out of whack too? Like, will we see a four hundred hitter or anything like that? Uh, yeah, you might. I mean, last year I think uh, Bellinger was was very close to that. Um, I'm curious to see. I mean, who's gonna be a home run leader? Um, how many that will be? So, um, yeah. Great. Thank you. Yep. Reminder: Please raise your hand through the Zoom call if you'd like any uh, questions for Patrick. Give it a few more seconds, see if anyone else raises their hand. Jesse Doherty, Washington Post. Yeah, Patrick, just, just one more quick thing. Max had mentioned, like, you know, a uh, really weird thing being that uh, water bottles are warm because they can't be in the fridge. I don't know. There's a lot of wacky stuff. What's been maybe something to you that stood out as, like, very different? You mentioned food at the park, but is there anything that's been, like, mm -hmm. alarming or really weird? Um, yeah, I mean, all of our, like, supplements we have in our locker, we have to – um, keep those separated. Uh, we have our own bag of baseballs. It's kind of strange that you have to carry around. So, um, yeah, I mean, y your own shampoo bottles, stuff like that. I mean, everything's just kind of um, in your own locker there. But, I mean, you do feel safe when you're coming here. I mean, the steps that the, that the team is taking, I mean, they're, I mean, they're on top of it. I mean, everything that we're doing, we're getting um, tested every other day. We're, we're, um, wiping down everything in the gym if, if we're using things and uh, keeping our distance. So I think guys um, feel safe coming here. Um, it's, a, it's a clean environment. And um, I think everybody here is doing their job.